tested positive for nangelone in the past. And ironically enough, one of the side effects for nangelone is hair loss. And around this time, his hair, he started losing his hair or he decided to go bald. So what a quinky thing. So this is... Those are the words of boxing ego. And, you know, when people start making assumptions, accusations that are cold, that are meaningless, I got to get them. I got to counterpunch them. See, Boxing Ego just did a video about an hour ago that it that VADA testing will be testing Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, you know, and of course, when you when VADA accepts or when you sign up for VADA, they send you an email. OK, so or, or they tweet you. OK, they both received received the tweets. And um, that's really the problem with, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence. Supposedly they didn't receive that same protocol. So that's little that's the buzz, you know, circling around those two fellows. But in this case, you have Deontay Wilder, which is training his ass off. And then you have Tyson Fury. And you, and we, they got the uh, email or the tweet, right? Now, here's the thing. As you just heard, Boxing Ego said, well, the reason why this is significant is because um, Tyson Fury's failed many drug tests, or, or multiple drug tests in the past, and he tested positive for cocaine, and... You know, he also tested positive for Nandrolone. And you know, what a coincidence, a quidinkidink, that um, he lost his hair. Dude, come on. Let, let, first of all, let me counterpunch. What, what does John Fury look like? He's a bald-headed European gypsy guy, right? No hair. So he took Nandrolone too? That's why his hair fell out? No, he was naturally that way. It's genetic. Go figure. That's his father. John Fury looks just like the dude. He's just younger. By like 20 years or so, right? So I don't get where he's trying to connect Nandrolone to hair loss when a guy is prone to be bald because his dad is bald. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that's stupid right there. And, and the second one was cocaine. Okay, let's look up the cocaine, all right? Now, he did test it positive for cocaine. He did. And this is this is the bleacher report that he was talking about. And um, Tyson Fury reportedly fails two drug tests, latest details, comments, reaction. All right, heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury has reportedly failed a second drug test for cocaine according to documents obtained Wednesday by ESPN's Don Raphael. Okay. Both urine tests, which were conducted by the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association, VADA, turned up with positive results for benzolegonine, which is a central compound for cocaine, right? For cocaine. Now, um, banned substances, illegal, banned substances and illegal drugs per Raphael. From that day forth, I've never done any training, Fury said. I've been out of dr I've been out drinking Monday to Friday to Sunday and taking cocaine. I can't deal with it. And the only thing that helps me is when I get drunk out of my mind. Okay, obviously that's when he was going through his episode or whatever. He said, Why shouldn't I take cocaine? It's not my life it's, it's my life, isn't it? I can do what I want. Yeah, I've done cocaine. See, those type of things. What he like Tyson Fury saying is like he didn't care. Did he deny it? No, he didn't deny it. He was just like, yeah, I done it. Yes, I done it. You know, I've been tra I've not been training. I've been going through depression. I just don't want to live anymore. If you know what I'm saying, I've had total in I've had total enough of it. They forced me to to the breaking edge. Never mind cocaine. I I just didn't care. I don't want to live anymore. So cocaine is a little minor thing compared to not wanting to live anymore. So this is when he was really knee deep in his episode. And this is what Boxing Ego is bringing up because breaking news, they have VADA testing. They had VADA testing the last fight.
And mind you, let me remind you guys, please, let me remind you when this was done. This was, um, when was this? When was this Bleacher Report? October 29th, 2016. Do you understand that was like four and a half years ago? You know what I mean? So what's the significance of bringing up, hey, they're having VADA testing? <laughs> the only thing that would make this legitimate or make this worthwhile or why this is important, because it's really not, would be if Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder, but in this case, Tyson Fury, because that's why he's making the video, because he's trying to link Tyson Fury with drugs you know, and hey, we're going to make sure you're not doing any drugs in this fight because he's failed multiple tests. I get the shit, but we're not morons. What you're trying to say is you're trying to say Tyson Fury's a cheater. So he may cheat in this, but he can't cheat on this Vada test. Well, here's the question I have I asked for you, uh, boxing ego, right? Where did he test positive in the last four or five years? Did And most importantly, did he test positive for the last fight that he ever fought? No, none of them did. So stop. So stop. Why are you, wor why are you worried about something that had five, six years ago? You got to be a desperate mofo to bring up something from five years ago or really that butthurt to bring up something that happened with that fighter just to have dirt on that fighter because he beat your favorite fighter. He beat the fighter that you promote or whatever, get or whatever, right? And it's ju it just baffles me how these guys come on here and, well, yeah, this is significant because, you know, he's failed multiple tests in the past. Did he fail the last one? Did he fail the one last year where he beat the piss out of Wilder? That would explain it. And mind you, cocaine, does that give you... I I mean, I guess, I guess it would give you an edge, but I mean, it's a banned substance, not a performance enhancing drug. So it's, it's a recreational drug. So you shouldn't look at that as the same as somebody having an edge. And like Tyson Fury said, I ain't been training no way. It ain't like I was training for a fight. What he was saying is, why are you messing with me? Because I'm not training. So you can't say I took this for an edge against a fighter. That's what the, that's what boxing ego is trying to say. Well, you know, he's done that and he's had he's tested positive in the past. So I'm very glad that Vada came and stepped forth. OK, he's been in Vada while he was training, while he was training to fight a guy that he ended up beating. He took his O, he took his strap. Did he test positive for anything then? That's the first excuse that anybody ever used people. When it came to Tyson Fury beating Wilder, they said he can't be clean. He can't be clean. This dude cannot be clean. He had to be on something to have that type of strength to beat, to be, beat up our champ like that. That's what they said. And then when they both came back, crickets, facts. That's exactly what happened. So all this boxing ego stuff is just trying to rev everybody up and trying to uh, associate Tyson Fury cheating with that. For one, he didn't cheat lately. Yeah, he cheated. I mean, if you call that cheating, a guy that just got high and drunk out of his mind, now that Nandrolone stuff is questionable. Yeah. But at the end of the day, though, how long ago was that? Has he been caught three, four years now? No, he's been clean three or four years. Just like he admitted just yesterday, hey, I've been cleaning on a straight path for a very long time and I remain to stay this way. So for Vada returning like they've already been, what's the significance of your video? You don't have any, except you just want to stab at Tyson Fury and label him a cheater just so, or just, just so, if he beats the hell out of Wilder again, you can say, well, you know he cheated, you know, I know something was wrong. So you guys can make up some more bullshit to feed your channel because you really have nothing to say. Beside Eat Crow. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.